Hello everyone, welcome to Stay Creative. Today in this video, I'm gonna be using this dial pads to control these LEDs. Let's go. We can hear some tones while pressing the numbers of the dial pad. These unique tones are called as DTMF. DTMF stands for Dual Tone Multi Frequency Signaling. After all, sound is just a vibration of air molecules. We humans can understand this vibration, but machines can't. In order to convert these audio signals into machine understandable form, we have to decode these signals. So I'm gonna be using this DTMF decoder module to decode these audio signals. There are a lot of DTMF decoders, but I prefer using this MT8870 decoder than any other modules. Because this module comes with female aux cable connector and with male header pins and also with few LEDs. Now let us understand how this decoder actually works. This module has VCC and ground pins which has to be connected to the battery or any external source. And it also has 4 output pins named as Q1, Q2, Q3 and Q4. Let us consider the number in the dial pad as an hexadecimal number. And now, these 4 output pins represent the 4-bit binary of these hexadecimal numbers. The 4-bit binary of the number 0 is 0000, 0, 0, 0 and for 1 it is 0, 0, 0, 0001 and so on. The first digit represents the logical state of pin Q1 and second digit represents the logical state of pin Q2 and third digit represents the logical state of pin Q3 fourth digit represents the logical state of pin Q4 here 1 implies high or on and 0 implies low or off then I connected the positive terminal of each LEDs to the output pin of the DTMF decoder module and negative terminal is connected to the ground pin I connected the positive and negative terminals of a 9V battery to the VCC and ground respectively Finally, I connected my mobile with DTMF decoder with aux cable. I downloaded the dial pad from Google Play Store which can produce DTMF tones. Link of this application is given in the description below. I named each LED as Q1, Q2, Q3 and Q4 and these are the output pins to which it's connected. Now I want my first LED to turn on and all the other LEDs to be turned off. According to this datasheet, I have to press button 1 to turn on first LED. As we expected, it worked perfectly. Now I want my first LED and third LED to be turned on. According to our data sheet, we have to press number 5. Again it worked perfectly. Now let us try the same thing for all the other numbers. Everything worked perfectly as I expected. In my next video, I will be upgrading this project to the next level. So don't miss it. Follow Stay Creative in Facebook and Instagram. Links of these pages are given in the description below. If you didn't subscribe to Stay Creative, just click over here to subscribe. And finally, thanks for watching.